click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to talk about the interstitial compounds and their characteristics. So now let us understand what are interstitial compounds and what are the characteristics of those. So friends, now let us understand what is interstitial compounds. So interstitial compounds are those compounds which are formed when small atoms like hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, boron, etc. are trapped inside the crystal lattice of the metals. And that's the reason that these are the smaller atoms, that is the carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen. So they acquire a small defects in, or they acquire a small space in the crystal lattice that arises a defect in it. For example, suppose if I talk about the example like titanium C. So in this case, the carbon, it acts like an impurity and it acquires a position or it acquires a space in the crystal lattice of the titanium. And talking about the other examples like titanium, where the hydrogen is we see 1.73 and talking about the other examples like suppose if i am talking about that is fe3h in which hydrogen is present that is 0.56 so if you could observe here that is here basically the combination of the elements are in a non stoichiometric way and that's the reason that this all are the impurities that is what i have discussed over here where the carbon hydrogen and that is the other elements like boron and nitrogen so they acquire the space in the crystal lattice thereby changing some of the properties of that particular main parent metal but the chemical reactivity or the chemical properties of those metals compared to that of the parent metal that is i'm talking about this interstitial compounds so it is very much similar to that of the parent metal and now let us understand the characteristic of this interstitial compounds so talking about the characteristic of interstitial compounds as I have discussed earlier that is the chemical properties is similar to that of those of the parent transition metals. So in that case basically the only difference is there is change in the physical properties that is what we could observe and based on that we have certain points that is they are hard and lustrous. So we understand that is metals are also hard and lustrous but by acquiring certain kind of impurities like carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen so that kind of metal will have a certain property which would be higher compared to that of the parent atom for example so by acquiring such kind of impurities that parent atom if it would be converted into interstitial compound and that interstitial compound would have that is higher boiling point melting point so in this case basically their physical properties it changes so based on that that is they have higher melting point and boiling point the reason behind that is metallic metallic bond is obviously we understand it is very much stronger but in this case I am talking about interstitial compounds so in that case we see the non-metal and the metal will have a stronger bond and that's the reason that more energy is required to break the bonding between them and that makes the interstitial compound to have higher melting point and boiling point compared to that of the parent metal so this was the third point that was basically associated with the physical property and now let me talk about the next one so talking about the next point that is they have low densities so even though they have low density compared to that of their parent atom or compared to that of the parent metal they have low density as well as they have high strength in the bonding that is between a metal and a non-metal and that's the reason that the melting point and boiling point is also more of the interstitial compound compared to that of their parent metal atom so talking about the next one that is the transition metals hydrides are powerful reducing agents so even this is a one of the property that is what i have discussed about here and now let me talk about the next one that is they are chemically inert and extremely hard so they are extremely hard like diamond and this kind of strong bond between those elements that makes this kind of interstitial compound to be very much hard compared to that of their parent metal atom and that's the thing that is what i am and that's the thing that it's this is what i want to discuss about so that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ikeda channel thank you so much